Welcome to Electron Line. Our next problem deals with rental income and trying to maximize the rental income. Let's assume that we have a 260 unit apartment complex that's currently renting apartments at $900 a month. Some study indicated that for each $50 per month increase in the rent, 10 less apartments will be rented. What should be the rent for the maximum rental income? So starting out with a little diagram, and here we have a little apartment building, and assuming there's 260 units, renting at $900 per month, and for each increase of $50 per month, there'll be 10 less units rented. So let X represent an incremental increase. So let X equal the number of $50 increases. And that's how we're going to end up working with the problem. We're going to have some representation of how we're going to increase things. Let X in, uh, be the indicator of the number of $50 increases. Now, on step two, we need to identify what we're trying to maximize. And so we're trying to maximize rental income or revenue, right? The amount of revenue we get in. So item number two, we're trying to maximize revenue. Now, we need an equation to indicate revenue, so that's number three. Revenue is equal to the number of apartments that we rent multiplied times the rent per apartment. So, how many apartments are we renting out? Well, we start with 260 minus 10 times for every increase, and if x is the number of increases, we can represent the revenue as 260 minus 10x. If x is 1, it's 10 less. If x is 2, it's 20 less and so forth. Now the amount of rent per apartment. So it starts at 900 plus for each $50 increase, we're going to have 10 less apartments rented. So the number of increases times 50 added to the original 900, the number of increases times 10 subtracted from the original number of apartments and that is then the equation we need for the revenue. Again, we don't need step 4 or 5 here again because we don't have to have a constraint and we don't have to use a constraint to get rid of a variable because there's only one variable this way. So jumping on to number 6 right away, we're going to take the derivative of this and set it equal to 0. Now before we take the derivative, we probably want to just multiply things together to have it in a better format. So the revenue is equal to 260 times 900. That would be 260 times 1,000. That would be 260,000 minus 260 times 100. That's minus 26,260. That's 234,000. Then we have 50 times this. That would be plus 13,000x and then minus 9,000x and minus 500x squared. Combining the two middle terms, we get r is equal to 234,000 plus 4,000x minus 500x squared. Now we're ready to take the derivative and set it equal to zero. So that would now be step six. We, we skip step four and five. So r prime is equal to 400, oh, not 4,000, 400, oh, no, it says 4,000, nope, oh, there we go, 4,000, three zeros, minus 1,000x. And now here we're going to set r prime equal to zero. That means zero is equal to 4,000 minus 1,000x or 1,000x equals 4,000, or x equals 4. Now remember what x represented. x represented the number of $50 increases. So there's going to be four $50 increases, which means the rent is going to be equal to the original $900 plus four times a $50 increase, which is $200, or a total of $1,100 dollar per month rent to maximize rental revenue. So the revenue is going to be equal to 
the number of apartments that's going to be the start we start with 260 minus 4 times 10 so there's only going to be 220 apartments rented there's going to be 40 vacancies but the rental income per apartment is going to be 1100 so what is the total revenue after the increase so we have 220 times 1100 equals 240,000 $242,000 of gross revenue and the original, the initial R was going to be equal to 260 times 900. And I think we have this calculator right here. That was going to be initial revenue of $234,000, which means that by increasing the rent, $200 per apartment, you can see that the rental income went from $234,000 to $242,000. So again, the way this is done is to be able to come up with this revenue equation or the yield equation where we have the number of apartments expressed in terms of the original plus or minus the change and the initial rent, the original plus or minus the change. And that's how we've been able to figure out these types of problems.